Doctor, we want a divorce. Then you're in the wrong office. Repeat after me. Lawyer, lawyer. <laughs> no, 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 no. Doctor, when we were married, we got these stupid tattoos. Iron butt. <laughs> That's iron butterfly. It was our favorite band. <laughs> mm. I have a tattoo on a certain part of my body. Sometimes it says Mike, other times it says Michael. I want this hideous thing off my body now. Okay. Then um, I guess there's really only one thing we can do. We have to remove all the skin. Picture, if you will, your body. Now, we shave the skin from the inside of the thigh. Ooh. Imagine that without anesthetic. Now, we graft the skin onto the shoulder over the tattoo. Bingo. Oh, God, isn't there something easier? Yeah, we can remove the whole arm, but that's a lot more expensive. Oh. <laughs> you know... This is probably like nothing that we couldn't work out or something. Right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, come on, Mozart. The greatest, huh? <laughs> Gristle. <laughs> trying to have another baby, man. She has been taking her temperature and charting these graphs. We agree that when she feels her most fertile, she can beat me. Abe, she's beeped you four times today. If she gets any more fertile, you'll have to prune her. Yeah. <laughs> Wish me luck. Break an egg. <laughs> wow. Sex. I remember what that's like. I need to meet a woman. and ye shall receive. What is that ticking sound? Only my heart. God, it's annoying. It sounds like there's a bomb in here. Shh. Oh, my God, here it is. <laughs> How can you tolerate that? Have we met? I'm Dr. Linowitz. Grant, the operation went really well. <laughs> no, I, I'm Leona, Grant's sister. Maybe you heard I'm taking the office upstairs. So I take it you'd like to be on top. <laughs> You don't get enough sex, do you? How'd you know? It's my job. I'm a psychiatrist, and you are... Mike Stratford, uh, Grant didn't tell you about me? Yeah, but you were supposed to be funny. <laughs> you can fly! You can fly! Fly! Put me down! Okay. I can walk, Uncle Grant. Uncle Grant. I don't know, there's a scary thought. <laughs> My baby sister, how you doing? You finally listened to me and you moved down here. Yeah. Let me take a good look at you. You look awful. Grant. He's quite the charmer, that Grant. Hey, come here. I want you to meet your new colleague, Leona Linowitz. My baby sister. Grant, don't undermine my authority. I'm two years younger, but two degrees better educated. Two degrees. <laughs> Oh, oh, 
This is Emily, my daughter. Emily, I uh, love what you've done with your hair. What have you done with yours? <laughs> so, you're taking the office upstairs, right? Oh, geez, that's going to be a nightmare. I hate moving. <laughs> I mean, my body doesn't react well to changes and working so close to a sibling. All I know is if a patient came to me with the same situation, I would strongly advise against it because it's not a very healthy that thing. That is so interesting. <laughs> <laughs> it is. I just wish I could stay. Well, got to run. Deirdre. Patient. I like it here, Mom. Which one's your office? Come on, kid. I'll show you. So, uh, you like crossword puzzles? <laughs> Grant, what am I doing here? Oh, right. You're gonna stay in Chicago with your husband sleeping with half the town. You know, if it wasn't for me, you'd still be with that joker. You're still competing with him. <laughs> it's just a latent desire to sleep with me. That's really the way to go. That way you can keep your maiden name. Actually, you know, I kept mine anyway. I feel it's it's the last vestige of a woman's independence, and if she surrenders that, why then... You know, this is really very interesting, but, geez, I've heard this speech before. But hey, you guys, you keep talking, okay? So, so, uh, Grant tells me your husband wrote a play about your marriage. He told you everything, didn't he? <laughs> Stupid play. I mean, Philippe's not even a real writer. Oh, God, I shouldn't get into this because it's a long story. But I suppose he's... <laughs> he's probably already told you that the character based on me was referred to only as the domineering bitch. She was played by a man in drag. <laughs> God, it was so humiliating. All our friends saw it, and... and <laughs> Wait a minute. You, you really don't, don't want to hear this, do you? <laughs> Take that as a no. <laughs> hey, I really want to thank you guys for helping me move in. Oh, please be careful with that. That's Freud's bust. I'd say it was about a B cup, wouldn't you? <laughs> oh, B cup! <laughs> oh, Leon, oh, wow! Yuck, 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 yuck. <laughs> They hate you. No, no, they don't. Yes, they do. No, come on now. You think everybody hates you. You know, and I know for a fact that Mike likes you. How can you be so oblivious? He does. He told me he does. He even, he even thinks you're attractive. <laughs> attractive, right? Yeah, Leona, look, if you would just relax, you would enjoy this. You'll no. meet a lot of new people. You're no, starting no, to practice. No, 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 no. Don't want to meet new people. No, this, this moving here was a terrible mistake. Why did I yeah. ever listen to you? Leona! <laughs> now it's wrong. What isn't wrong? Oh, God. I don't know. I think she's upset about the end of her marriage. Maybe she just needs a date. Yes. Something to let her know as bad as men are, they're still the only ones to get to those hard-to-reach places. She has trouble meeting men, you know? Leona? Throw a paper bag over her brain and she's actually quite attractive. Hey. Look, that's my sister, okay? Attractive? You think she's attractive? Mm, you kidding? She's beautiful, but... Then why didn't you ask her out? Yeah, yeah. yeah. She's not interested in me. Yes, she is. She told me she is. Oh, Come on, Mike. I'll bet you and Leona would have a great time together. She seems like an awful lot of fun. Oh, God, here she comes. Do <laughs> ask her. What if she says no? Oh, trust me. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> L Leona? <laughs> would you would you like to go to a movie or something tonight? No. <laughs> Thanks. I really needed the rejection. Look, hey, I am calling mom. I'm telling her that you refused to go out with a doctor. <laughs> I don't need charity. <laughs> oh, you don't? Mm-mm. Well, he does. Sad. It's very sad, Leona. Come on. I'm sorry. <laughs> that, that was incredibly hostile, wasn't it? I'll say. Uh, let's try it again. Okay. Um, Leona, would you like to go to a movie or something tonight? Yes. Really? Yes. This isn't charity, is it? Mike, I think you're a very attractive man. We'll have a lot of fun. <laughs> All right. Still got it. Sorry. 
Uh, like, emergency, hospital, you know. I hate going out with doctors. They always have a valid excuse. Yeah, did we just miss the movie? <laughs> An hour late, you don't just miss a movie. Come on, Leona, movies are supposed to be fun. <laughs> no, they're not. They're supposed to be enlightening. Then why did they sell jujubes? <laughs> <laughs> that was obviously intended to provoke me into some sort of confrontation. No, oh, it's a joke. The fact that it's provoking is just a huge bonus. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Sorry. Now, how about we see a compromise movie, something neither of us will like? Well, I would actually like to see something. Oh, yippee. <laughs> what? Forgot to stop at the... <laughs> <laughs> I'll be running a tab. I know. You're a Linowitz. <laughs> well, that was fun. You always change your seat six times before you walk out of a movie? I am sorry, but everywhere we moved, some jerk was chewing gum. It was driving me crazy. <laughs> Let's just see another movie instead. Tickets, please. Oh, we were just inside. <laughs> <laughs> Tickets, please. <laughs> you don't understand. See, here are our ticket stubs. We just came out here for a minute. We've changed our minds. We're going to see another movie instead. No, no, no. You can't change movies. That's ridiculous. No, that's the rules. Please step aside. Look, I'll pay, OK? What's what? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I have to start asserting myself more. <laughs> Aren't you glad she started with you? You're lucky I'm saving all my aggression for him, Ken. At least you don't have to spend the rest of the evening with her. What? This heat really makes it wither. <laughs> see more than just the trailer to that new Gene Wilder movie. It's not my fault. Yes, it is your fault. What are we walking out for? The credits weren't even over. It took place in Chicago. Oh, well, I'll say no more. Let's get our money back. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Look, it's my home, okay? I missed it. It brought back good memories. Is that why you punched me in the arm? I suddenly got so happy when I saw Chicago, then I thought of Philippe. I had to hit something. Have you ever been fitted for a straight jacket? <laughs> you know, believe it or not, I have friends in Chicago who love to spend time with me. Are they deaf? <laughs> no, scratch that. You probably sign in an annoying way, too. <laughs> Mike, it's been a really miserable evening, but you opened my eyes to some things. Where are you going? Back to Chicago. Anything's better than this. Maybe I should offer to pay her airfare. You should send her Federal Express. <laughs>
And that's exactly what happens when you put a bag of marshmallows in a microwave. Wow. You're smart, Dr. Mike. Well, I did study with Mr. Wizard. Oh. Golly, Mr. Scarecrow, you've lost a lot of stuffing. Come on, Abe. Do you look tired? Go home. Go to bed. Man, going to bed is what's got me tired. The sea urchin didn't help? No, and I sure don't have any need for a afro -desiac. That's a black thing. <laughs> okay, Em, if we're gonna make it, we gotta fly. Oh, come, come on. What? Can't Dr. Mike babysit me? They were gonna do something really cool. Nah, go with your uncle. The eye bank is closed now, anyway. <laughs> You'd hate that. Come on, we'll have a great time. How do you feel about Nouvelle Cuisine? Oh, no, you just never had it done right. Come on. I have a fax for the domineering bitch. Oh, he just left with Emily. <laughs> wow, you look great. You don't have to say that. <laughs> Faye, you lied to me. <laughs> so, uh, what do you feel like eating? How's lobster sound? Like this. <laughs> Shall we? Oh, Dr. Linowitz, I forgot. This just came for you. Good night. Good night. <laughs> that jerk Philippe just faxed me another raid review of his damn play. Oh, Leona, take it easy. After dinner, we'll sit on the machine and fax them our butts. <laughs> You're right. You're right. Philippe's the past. I have to learn to let the past go and concentrate on the future. That's the idea. <sighs> It's just that I've never been so thoroughly humiliated in my entire life. Well, that night is young. You know, men, men, men are completely worthless. It's no bargain being a woman. I know. I pay way too much for mine. Must you always joke? Yes, I must. It's in my contract. You know, I don't know why I thought you'd be any different tonight. Oh, Leona, calm down. We were having fun, remember? Oh, that is not even how a lobster sounds, you know. I Oh, and that is? <laughs> well, that's how a sea urchin sounds. Aren't you done yet? What's the hurry, Pukins? Uh, what do you think? I think Richard Nixon got a raw deal. What do you think? I just want to get the hell out of here. Oh, uh, right when I was about to ask you to marry me. This is a nightmare. Think so? I think it's romantic. Just the two of us getting intimate under a full moon. Oh. God, as if one pain in the butt isn't enough. I mean, this hurts? Oh, maybe I should stop putting them back in. You're really enjoying this, aren't you? It's just a shame we can't capture the moment on film. How much longer is this going to take? Mm, I don't know. What do you think, Dr. Cousteau? Well, Dr. Mike, I am glad you asked me that. We are almost finished. Then she will be free to go and enjoy her finny, finny little date with the finny, finny Dr. Stratford. I'd rather be in labor. Oh, come on. Smile. <laughs> Let's remember, we don't like each other, so we don't have to do this again, okay? Oh, come on, we don't lighten up. I will, as soon as you grow up. I know you think all your little jokes are funny, Mike, but they're not. They're just juvenile, just like you are. All right. You're a real barrel of laughs. Uh, oh, hey, what's wrong? My, my watch sticking too loud? Hey, no problem. I can get rid of it. Oh, am I chewing my gum too loud? Easy. Oh, you don't like men with glasses. Oh, you don't like men who are too tall. <laughs> you seem to forget. I'm not the one you were married to. I'm not the one who wrote the play about you. I'm the one who took you out to dinner and a movie, remember? To have a good time? No, you probably don't remember. Because you're too obsessed with yourself and your past and your future and what people think of you to enjoy anything. Well, say something. You're right.
think she took that rather well. Flight 125, nonstop service to Chicago, is now boarding at gate four. Leona, this is getting ridiculous. Really, have you lost your mind? She doesn't need this. Your whole life is here now. No, it's not. It's back in Chicago. You know, this is just like when you ran away from camp. I ran away from camp because they set me on fire. Well, you were holding the marshmallows, Leona. Fred, hey, well, what took you so long? Oh, well, sorry, Grant, but my molecular transporter was in the shop. <laughs> just talk to her, okay? Just tell her that not all men in Rhode Island are like you. Mm, actually, they are. Don't you remember that terrible cloning accident back in 55? Yes. Hi, Dr. Stratford. We're going home. Good. Leona, if you're doing this because of last night, I didn't say any of those things to drive you away. Do you honestly think I'm doing this because of you? I really need Come this. <laughs> Let me tell you something. This is my decision. It's got nothing to do with you. Well, no use quibbling over who gets credit as long as you're leaving. That's the important thing. You just had to get in one last dig before I left, didn't you? Doesn't have to be the last one. I'll call you when you get to Chicago. <laughs> I hope they're showing the little mermaid. That's it. They're gone. Thank you, Mike. Thank you very much. Now I have no family. Grant, come on. I know she's your sister, but you can't tell me you two were ever close. That was the whole point of having her here, Mike. I hadn't seen her in so long. I, I thought it might be fun. <laughs> Fun? Have you ever known her to be fun? Yes, once. Actually, that was someone else. <laughs> Grant, I'm gonna say this as delicately as I can. The woman is psychotic. Mike, the woman is my sister, okay? And now she's out of my life, and I will probably never see her again. Are you kidding? Right now, she's probably standing in the cockpit telling the pilot, you know, I've had some time to think. I can't go back to Chicago now. There's a guy in Providence I've been driving crazy, but he still seemed kind of sane when I left, so could you turn the plane around so I can go back and finish him off? Okay. Whatever else Leona may be, she is a woman of conviction. She's a Linowitz. If she says she's going to Chicago, she is going to Chicago. Okay. Yeah. Thank you.